folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Try Mashinki. Let's get this out of the way. Mashinki, I, I don't know what, what, what the deal with, is with the name. It doesn't seem like a very good one because it doesn't tell you what, what the game is about, which is a damn shame because the game is all kinds of awesome. This is still, again, very early alpha kind of build here. It is a train game. It's basically a sort of transport tycoon, railroad tycoon wrapped together in sort of actually a really beautiful set of visuals. It is a business management game, tycoon management game, where you're building mostly trains over here. Let's go ahead and start up the game. Uh, I'm gonna go with all the settings set to default over here. You can see there's a lot of different options if there's certain behaviors that uh, you know you don't want. Like you don't want your trains to be able to like reverse in certain situations and things like that because you want a higher degree of realism. But I'm gonna leave everything on default except I've disabled this tutorial. I've also gone ahead with the largest map size over here. Um, and you can hit the button here that sets all the defaults to be a bit more reasonable or for the first game, which will include probably turning on the tutorial. We'll go and hold this up. Um, I did notice when I was fully zoomed out on the full map size, I was getting a little bit of frame rate issues, but it didn't seem to be as much of a problem when I was close up. It was like that weird little second there where it's readjusting the audio volumes, but I think we're okay balance wise. So, um, a game that is driven by a lot of these quests, a lot of them are sort of like randomly and procedurally generated as they goes on, which I think is lovely. So we're currently in the early Steam age over here. Uh, the age will advance automatically, or we can invest things in it as well to uh, speed up the advancement to the next age, which I think is a lovely idea. And we've got a first sort of initial little setup. Hey, why don't you try transporting some passengers? So we're going to take a look over here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game for now, and we're going to go ahead and zoom out. And again, at maximum zoom level, um, I find the frame rate a little bit low, but this is a very, very large area. You can see the edge of the map over here, and we've got a variety of different cities and resources throughout. Now, one of the things is the resources available change through the ages. So right now it's gonna be, we're gonna have logs, we're gonna have coal, we're gonna have lumber mills over here, and we've got little tool factories here, and then we've got towns. Towns, oh, of course, Belfast and Edinburgh, it's well known that these are our, our close neighbors um, all the time. And we have towns where passengers uh, go. So you've got that, but when we enter the next era, there's gonna be more resources and more things will pop, so you'll have to come up with a more complicated uh, setup somewhere along the way. So we're going to get this started. It looks like Manchester over here is a tiny little town, but Belfast and Edinburgh, they are fairly significant centers based on what I've seen from the game. So we're going to put that down. Now I have very little time put into this game, so I don't know all the little tricks and things so far, uh, but we'll, we'll be able to get at least a little bit of a look-see and we'll be definitely visiting this for a full Let's Play in the future. So if I hit space or hit this button here, I'll enter construction mode and you're going to see the screen change considerably. And now you get a very classic sort of transport tycoon kind of isometric style. I mean, it's not isometric because it's a 3D camera or whatever, but that sort of flat shaded style, which is fantastic for building. Everything is super duper clear. And you can see exactly what's going on with the train. And then you hit space again and you go back into the realistic render mode. I don't think I've ever seen that in a sort of building tycoon kind of game. And I think that's genius, absolutely genius. So let's do a simple route over here to uh, to grab stuff from Belfast. Um, I'll just build a station over here. So if we go into rail and we go and grab station, I can draw the station. Let's, let's dodge the street. We'll make the station as long as we're allowed to, which is that long over there. You can see when we're building the station, it's got a bit of a catchment area over here. That is what is going to be being grabbed and pulled into your train station. So it's going to be a few buildings. We can increase that catchment area later on if we want. So we're gonna have that, and uh, for Edinburgh, maybe I'll build it right behind these houses over here. I can I'll build it as long as I want. If I go in and stretch it out too long, it's okay. It'll just chop it down to the right length. Longer stations, you can fit longer trains in there. So we're gonna get a rail connection between the two. So let's go ahead, and it's pretty good about drawing and connecting. You can see here, it does not let you let you doesn't like you to climb hills on a slope. Most likely, if I were to climb up, um, oh, it does let me. Oh, because, yeah, I can go straight at an angle that way, but it would probably be kind of awkward to connect up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that build, and we're instead going to go into the terraforming tools, and I'm going to try to flatten the terrain such that we get a nice straight edge right over there. Now, let's see if it'll let me build there. So if we grab the rail again, uh, you're really sure you want to... No, see, so you can do this. You'll be fine. There you go. I knew you could do it. So we get a nice little simple track back and forth. To be able to create trains, we do need to have a depot somewhere along here. Let's go ahead and get it to go right around there. That seems perfectly fine 
as a start. So now we can actually get out of building mode completely. Um, there is a, a greenery tool over here. Uh, let's just plant trees. I, I'm curious as to transparency setup. Oh, neat. Little tools for setting that. No, that's fine. Um, I'm curious if like the grass will regrow or something. That, that's something I'm not sure about. Again, I haven't put in a lot of time on this so far. But um, over on the depot, we're going to create a new engine. Right now, in this current era, we have the option of the 260 Porter, which is going to cost us 400 money, which is one sort of token slash resource in this game. Very interesting implementation. Or we could go to the Baldwin, which costs us 20 cut boards. Different token. We don't have any of that. We only have cash tokens right now. So we're going to have to use the Porter. That's going to be fine. Now we've just created a new train over here. Since it's in the depot, if I, if I go and um, spawn trains, these are the trains in the depot. So if I spawn cars, rather, I should say, then it'll get added to the uh, the train. We're going to use these smallest little wagons over here, the Pullman, and I'm going to put like four of these on here, something like that. Now, I can close the depot view at this point, that's fine. I can, if I want, order my train to follow a specific route by hitting the plus button over here. So I could say, go to this station, station one, which is just the name of it. We could rename these stations as well. Or what I can do is I can remove the orders, it's fine. If I hit start, the trains actually have a nice default behavior. Their default behavior is, and I'll have to just unpause here, their default behavior is go to the closest station where you can pick up goods with based on your wagons. And I mean, I haven't read this. This is as far as I've, I've determined, as I've, I've just pieced together by watching this. It will try to go to the nearest station where it can pick up the appropriate goods, and then it will try to go to the nearest station where it can drop things off. In this case, it's going to go to Belfast because it's the nearest, and then it, the only other option after that is going to be to go to Edinburgh, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we have a passenger line really easily implemented. Obviously, later on when we get more stuff going on, we're going to want to plan specific, excuse me, orders for these trains. But for now, that is going to be more than sufficient. There you go. So you're going to pick up some passengers. If we click on the station, we can see there. Oh, some passengers started to arrive. Oh, you can actually see them sort of like fly through the air. You'll actually see them fly from like the house to the station. And I think you might see them from the station to the train. Maybe not. So here, there we go. The passengers started to accumulate. Edinburgh over here is producing a certain number of passengers. We can get some statistics and a variety of things. Well, it's too early for us to actually get any real statistics over here. I extend this. There we go. Stuff being produced. And you can see, you can see them pop from time to time. Uh, there will be extensions that we can build, oh, not on the town, but rather, or maybe on the town later on, I'm not sure. Uh, but on the station here, we can extend, say, a waiting room to expand the catchment area so that we grab passengers from a little further away. That'll probably help later on. Build restaurants for more uh, passenger capacity, as well as more income, and so on and so forth, as well as extra platforms if we need multiple trains um, to be parked here at the same time. So... We've got that. Let's go and figure out what we're going to build next um, because we want to be able to show off some more interesting signaling later on. we got some forests here that will produce logs. we got a lumber mill over there. Oh, actually, that's going to be very great. Okay, so um, these forests produce logs. Lumber mills take logs and turn them into boards. Um, tool works will convert boards and coal to money and um, I think like more coal tokens. We'll see what we're talking about soon, but let's let's try to get the forest near Manchester to the sawmill near Manchester. So we're going to go ahead and go into construction mode here. So we won't have to worry about signaling yet, which is good. Um, building a station here might be slightly awkward. Um, if I were to level you, say, from here, I don't know what that's going to do to the forest. Uh, it does not let you bulldoze the forest. So what we sort of want to do is extend the flat area. Oops. Kind of like that, maybe. Cost us some money and resources to do this, but it's not too bad. And let's flatten as much as we can. Like that. And like that. Okay, that should be okay. So let's go and build ourselves a station here. I'm going to go as far back as I can in there. And it does catch the uh, the force, as you can see. And let's build the station over by, by the sawmill. Ooh, that is, again, some pretty rough terrain. Let's see. If we just go and make sure this area anyway is flat like that, I think we can end up building a station, say starting from right here that goes that way, and that will catch the sawmill. You can see it's within the blue area, so that should be okay, and let's see if we can build a rail from one to the other. Mm, talking about diagonals, but I think we can get there. I think curves are bad for train speed, 
An achievement railroad pioneer. Probably for placing a certain number of, of rail. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we still haven't done any signaling or sightings, but right now we've got a pretty simple system, so we can get this started. We have to get some trains there. Um, what I guess I'm going to do is I might go ahead and extend the station out this way and try to connect there. That way we can use the same depot and not have to double spend. Let's, um, just because I think it'll make it a lot better, we're going to flatten this terrain over here as much as possible. I think that'll make our life a lot easier. I'm spending a lot of money on terraforming, but hopefully it's okay. We're going to get a free rail that goes in this way, and... something like that. Okay, we will really have to worry about signaling later on, but... Um, actually, we totally will, because we're not going to be able to get a train to leave here. Oh, that's great! Because we can demonstrate something. Alright, so we've got those up. Let's go to our depot. Our depot. We're going to grab another porter, because well, we have money, although we're running out on that. We're going to go to wagons, and we're going to grab the... Uh, Studinger over here, which can carry logs. I'm going to go, once again, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to hit start. And again, I'm not giving it specific orders, because it'll go to the closest place where it can grab logs from. But you can see we've got a warning. Train 2 has stopped at a signal for a long time. Stations and depots have implicit signals. And this works very much like, um, well, like many other games that you might have played. Um, like Transport Tycoon, but I think of Factoria as well. Every chunk of track that is connected and not split up by, say, a station, is one block. And by default, you can only have one train in a block at a time. Your trains will get stuck at a signal otherwise. Now, I can tell a train to ignore the next signal, and that would allow it to start going as is. But the other thing I can do is I can actually put a signal, say, right here. And what this does is it's dividing this track into two separate blocks. There's the block down here and the block up here. And red means no one's allowed to cross here. So this train's going to start moving right away, and this train is going to stop here because this block is occupied by another train. Now, that's a very simple two-way signal. If Imagine the situation, though, where I had two trains servicing Edinburgh to Belfast. What would happen in that case is both trains would stop at the signal facing each other, and no one would ever be able to cross. So if we have multiple trains operating in the same line, we actually have to do a lot more. We can go and kick the speed up a little bit here, I'd say. Up to speed four. These are all hotkey, by the way, one through four. Really good game for hotkeys. I can get rid of this warning over here because no train is actually stuck waiting. Or I'm wrong. Whoa, really? The, signal, the, the station doesn't act as a signal. Well, well, well. Let's, um, let's go and get a signal over here once again for you. This is going to have to get adjusted later, but yeah, I did not realize that this guy would be stuck here. So now if we unpause, this train should start moving. Oh, this is all one giant block right now from their point of view. All right, so now we've got that going back and forth. We're making money from this train route. And over here, we've got logs. 28 logs were picked up. There's maintenance. You can see the minus one money happening there with the trains. Um, one thing we can do is let me click on this train here. Unclick. Uh, there's a couple of different buttons. Is it this one I want? So that will lock our camera. There we go. To follow the train. But there's also this button here. Look at that. I can go backwards and forwards in the different cars, get some cool views, switch sides, pull the whistle. I know, oh, that's really loud, isn't it? I just realized, super loud. Um, later on, uh, apparently they're gonna have some sort of ability to manually drive this. Oh, we've done our first passengers, 50 passengers. We get 100 bucks as a bonus reward for that. Excellent, we'll get some other requests for that later on. Now we're gonna do our first delivery over here. And it'll be interesting to see exactly what we get out of doing this. Actually, I just realized that this station abutting that is going to be a problem in a sec, but not really, because we can just take a longer route. So this train's going to arrive, going to unload, drop the logs off over there, and planks are being created. Okay, but I don't believe we actually made money from that, which is kind of interesting. We can get a full list over here of, of different things, and the train statistics as well. You can see here this train has cost us, been costing us money, and it's been delivering logs, but that's it. We didn't actually get anything out of this. So let's continue to expand this, try to get the logs over to the tool works over here, because here's the thing with the tool works. For every three boards, yeah, okay, so this symbol's not as easy to read, but over here in the tool works, every three boards we deliver gives us a board token. Instead of money tokens, we will get board tokens. And as we deliver coal, it's gonna deliver, it's gonna con uh, create coal tokens for us. These are all currencies we can spend 
in this game, which I think is really interesting. A very different way to treat it, a different way to balance costs and expenses. Um, you know, a little gamey, but at the same time, it's resources. It's not just about money. I mean, in a, in a sense, having these railroad games only run on money is actually the abstraction because you'd actually would use resources for different things um, directly. You wouldn't always buy everything. So we're going to see, we're going to build a station over here. I'll build it, yeah, like, like this or something like that. Fair amount of money. And we're going to see if we can connect it up over here in any kind of way whatsoever. Because we can't connect it to the backside because things are in the way. But we don't want to connect it in this direction. We want to connect it in the opposite direction here. So this is all probably not fantastic. But, can't climb with the diagonal piece. Oops, I didn't actually want to go that far. Uh, I don't think there's an undo. But that's okay. What I can do is maybe connect up that way. There we go. Awesome. Now, what I am going to want to do is I'm going to put signals here. Now, I'm still going to just use the two-way signals over here to make it so that only one person can be in this area, so these trains will have to stop. But I'm going to get another depot. All right, I'm going to use the same depot. It's pretty far away, but that's okay. This depot here, I'm going to make a new engine. We're very short on money, but it should be okay. Um, we're going to do that. We've got a quest for delivering logs, though, which is nice. Oh, shoot. Did I already... I already had an extra train in this depot? I may have just accidentally double-clicked. That's what happened. I accidentally double-clicked. Whoops. Well, let's see. Can I afford the log carrier? It's only cost 20. I'm going to attach it to this train here. And I'm going to tell it to go. Yeah, it's going to wait for now. Um, I wonder if I could sell a train. It's okay. We'll use this later on. But for now, it's going to be kind of annoying because we're only going to have one car on that train. But we're going to get it started anyway. Start with making money. Passenger rail, we probably want to prioritize actually have gotten more passenger stuff because the passengers on every delivery, that's what gives us the tokens. So when we deliver here, we should get some passenger tokens. Or some money tokens. Yeah, and quite a bit. Log delivery will also give us some money there, and we've got a quest, so that's going to be okay. Ooh, train 4 is lost. Um, yeah, it really is. Oh, it can't comfortably get where it wants to go is probably one of the things. Let's, um... No, that's not the way I want it. Cancel. Let's do this, and we're going to set up some signalings around this block. Not enough tokens. I got a few. Oh, it's doing the animation, but it's not actually doing it. We may have to, like, manually route this train again around, because it's really, um, really confused. Train 4. Tell you what, just go to the depot for now. Reverse. Reverse and go to the depot. We need to make sure the passenger tra transit still keeps going here. I may have, like, <laughs> painted myself into a corner. That's okay. I want, like, I'm intentionally trying to create some, some problems with some of our track here, because I want to be able to demonstrate, like, more interesting routing later on. We got money coming in here, and we'll get the bonus money when we finish our little log quest, which is being worked on. Lots of passengers are going to be waiting. Excellent. Okay. Um. I didn't realize that that did not actually... There we go. Better. And we're going to go and put another signal right there. Okay. And right over here to make this an exclusive block where only one train at a time can be in there. That should be okay. Now if we grab train four again and tell it to go... Actually, sorry, I'm wrong. Reverse. Stop. Reverse. Go back to the depot, because we have enough money we won't be able to do right now. Um, because we have enough to actually add the extra cars on there now. It's got to wait there until this guy's out of the block. 
He's gonna go. I think we'll be okay. We got a reward for our logs as well. Awesome. Now we've got a timber delivery thing. Well, we're trying. We're trying. Okay, train four. Um, grab the depot. Wagons. And you can filter by resources as well. All right. You, start. There you go. Now you should be able to happily get over here. You should no longer ever be lost or be stuck at a signal for an inappropriate amount of time. You will have to wait here for a second. Um, actually, you know, we're going to have a problem. Because he's going to be waiting there. That's fine, actually. Um, where are you? I was going to say... Oh, because there's a signal right there. I was going to say, there's no way that this works. Let's get our first um, siding going so that these trains can share this track. They won't have to share the track in a second, but more trains will probably be going there. So we're going to create our first siding. So all we're going to do is make a little thing here that does this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put signals on here so that only one train can enter this little block down here and this little block over here. I don't think we need to worry about direction, but let's make sure we've got the rant handed rule. So now by clicking here, we can make these one way. There we go. And nope. There we go. I think we just keep clicking to cycle, maybe. There we go. So people can go on the right or the right over here. So now, oh, I think train four just turned around and gave up on this because of the new tracks. Oh, and he, right. We have the rule where you can turn around at these things. No, you're still going to do that. Buddy, train four, reverse. There we go. I'm gonna get you past here. I'm gonna stop you. And I'm gonna reverse you again and then tell you to start. There we go. Now they should be using the siding successfully to avoid problems here, just like that. And actually, we're going to want to get rid of this signal here because it could cause further problems. Because I don't want to train... Uh, no, that should actually be fine now. At least for the short term. Clearly, we need to clean this up, you know, in the long run, but that's going to be okay. So you're not holding lumber, which is great. You're going to deliver that. You're still using up money tokens for maintenance, and you will not give me money tokens when you arrive at the tool works. But you will give me log tokens, which I can use for other things. Or lumber tokens, I should say. There we go. See that? Was it for every three we deliver, and it goes one bit at a time, we get a token over there. So we've got money coming in. We've got a new resource coming in. We're going to go and set up coal as well. And we will uh, build a station for it. Can I get away with building a station just up here? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, come down that way, and then merge up over there, and then we need to make sure that only one train at a time goes into the station block, which is going to be all right. And just to avoid, because we didn't, like, have a sophisticated enough system throughout for most of this, I'm going to put a, oops, a new depot over here, and we're going to build a new train from here. Uh, we're a little shy on money, so we'll probably wait, although it is worth noting that I can start buying some stuff. In fact, the Baldwin is better got more operating cost, but it is faster and more powerful, um, and only costs us 20 log tokens, so we could consider doing that. Uh, in terms of wagons for coal, we can either buy, so there's two variants here. There's the bigger capacity lints. I don't know if they're longer as well. We can also buy those with, uh, with log tokens. I'll just build another porter here. That's going to be okay. I don't know about the mixing. Just got to wait for... One more passenger delivery. I should probably have another passenger delivery going on just so that we can get um, the money going a little faster, but that's okay. So I'm going to start you, and again, I'm not going to program in a particular route because you're just going to grab from the nearest coal mine, which is loading up very quickly, and it's going to deliver it to the tool works because that's somewhere that requires or, or would like coal. And you'll do that, and we'll start to accumulate coal tokens. Okay, so let's figure out our next passenger delivery then because clearly we need some more regular income um, we've got a couple of really nearby towns over here, actually. We could link these two together. And then, I don't know if they have specific destinations.
like if we just do those two if that's enough or if we're gonna have to worry about passenger traffic through there we'll see how it goes once we get it built for now I'll let me build a super little micro route between these two we are gonna have to wait for more cash to come in now and see how that goes train going this way yeah it doesn't even have a full passenger route in fact we might just be able to get this one to explicitly cycle between like three or four different stations just because we're not generating enough passengers that actually might be a really good idea set up a little cycle there oh we can get a subsidy for having six trains all right we'll look into that and the timber delivery is a thing that is happening and it's going to reward us with some good amount of stuff lovely okay a little bit more money what i think i'm going to do is where's those towns i was looking at hall exeter that's a long trip. Yeah, we don't have enough tokens, that's for sure. But let's build to there and then we'll figure out the rest after. And it looks like the grass does grow back, which is nice. So after a certain amount of time, it starts to fill in. Oh, you can actually see it come back in real time. What? Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Also, I didn't actually do the uh, intersection here, as it turns out. Well, that is disappointing. I'm just going to clear a little bit of this. There we go. And like that. And, yeah, all kinds of bottlenecks could still happen here, so... We're going to stick with one train for now, and then we'll work out a proper structure for these. What we probably want is paired lines everywhere. We've got a, a quest for delivery of coal. Well, we are working on it. Actually, that will auto-complete at some point, which is nice. There's not, there wasn't a town over here that would have been really easy to get to, is there? Derry's tiny. Bedford's pretty big. We could probably do a Bedford, Edinburgh sort of thing, actually. That might still be cheaper. Oh, it's November! So we've got snow spreading. I like how, like, there's the two different modes. Like, it's just brilliant. Just brilliant. And it really, I think, is just done by changing the shader rules. Just really, really smart way of doing that. I think going down here actually does make a lot of sense. Let's uh, see where we can set up our station. I think we have to do some smoothing to get something kind of optimal, like over here, for example. So let's level to something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Oh, because I'm out of money. Okay, we might actually be okay as is. Okay, we're still running on max speed. This poor little train's going back and forth. Yeah, the, the, the places are so close together that we're not getting a full load in between. The train delivery is going good. We've got tons of coal tokens. Just a ludicrous amount of them, which is really nice. And yeah, we can spend other tokens, like, to, um, to buy our, our trains when we get to that point. Oh! Lumber is done. Money and more lumber. Ooh, deforestation. The forest near Warwick. We've got to deliver a thousand logs within ten years. And we get a 300 gold reward. It's also generating coal, which is kind of interesting. Um, is there a lumber mill nearby? It's way over there. It's the only place we can deliver the logs to. We might just forget about that one. Alright, we got plenty of cash. Let's go and build our station. Uh, station. Can't build a station on a rock. Uh, is it too steep? I'm wondering if that's what it is. There we go. So yeah, I think it was it was a cliff. It, it, I think the message can't build on rock is a little hard to figure out. It's can't build on a cliff is what the situation is. All right. So we could get another train, but I think what I'm going to do um, is we're going to pause here. Train one, I'm going to change your things. I'm going to set a specific order. Your order is to start at station one, then go to station two. Then you're going to come way down here near Bedford. And then on your way back, you're going to stop again over here in Edinburgh. And I think, uh, skip actual command and route set. Remove. Oh, these tooltips weren't there last time. Full load, force unload. Um, oh, there we go. 
There, now your, your route is set to station two, which is where you were on your way. So that's gonna work out brilliantly. So, on pause. Oh, this I think is pro progress. I think when a certain number of passengers arrive, it levels up and builds another house. Ooh. Okay. I think here in Edinburgh, I think we're going to want to maybe add some passenger amenities. Like a restaurant. It's quite expensive, but will get us more money. Now, what I might want to do is make sure to add a second platform here first, and then build on the other side. Just for future-proofing. Look at, oh, looks really nice in the winter. I like those tracks in the snow. So we should more consistently have more passengers available here, because there's a few more stops happening. So there's a little bit more of a lag time. We're going to be utilizing these trains a lot better. We might not have to bother with four-car trains, like, to start off with, but now we're going well. Uh, build some extensions. We'll get some rewards for doing that. Delivering coal is happening. The train. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. So the early steam age. We could accelerate things. Well, optional reward. Awarded if you invest in new technology. Foundry extension. I'm betting a foundry is something at the... Um, that we might take advantage of here. Or maybe at the toolworks? Ah! There you go. The toolworks is an upgrade. Uh, oops. I want to embiggen this. Okay, so it's not here. Maybe at the mine. So as this heating plant changes it. Burn to generate heat. Six coal generates four tokens instead of four to two. Oh, so it's better. Yeah. It's much better ratio if we were to invest in this, if we wanted a bunch of coal tokens. Uh, that's a different resource. I don't think we have that. Product storage. Okay. There's a reward for a foundry. Let's take a look at the mine. Coal mine. Nope. Is it in town? Let's check the sawmill, just in case there's a... I'm starting to think, is it an age thing? I mean, the forest can't possibly... Okay, it's got stuff. Oh, so it can be upgraded to produce charcoal here. Ah! Fell logs are stored. Storage, storage. I guess we just keep getting more trees, although clearly there's lots of wood going on over there. Okay. Is there something I can do with the town? I don't remember there being anything like that. Okay. Let's double check, make sure I've read this correctly. An optional awarded if you invest in new technology. This plus... Oh! Oh, maybe this is the invest over here. Ah, so if I invest, I will get a thing later. Oh! Alright, let's invest some logs. And we need a little bit more coal to make that go. Alright. Still, it looks like some of these upgrades are going to be well worth it. Now, I assume we have a crazy amount of coal over here. So, it makes sense to me to invest in the better ratio here, which takes a lot of boards. We can get more board tokens as well. So... Basically, next time we have... Oh! Delivery of coal, we get a reward of that. Excellent. So, whatever we get, like, invest in here, and we'll just multiply tons and tons of stuff. Just get way more bang for our buck. And we might actually want to be delivering more trains here more quickly. Like, get a second, um... Get a second, um... What do you call it? Platform. There you go. I have money here. Let's upgrade our furniture workshop. Can I build it back here? There we go. So now we get a better log ratio, which should make it easier to unlock everything else. Yes! Um, although for the coal, I probably want to save the coal to, to do that. Which actually, we got a coal delivery now. So we'll advance the next age. We'll see what that looks like. Then we might wrap this up here. I, again, I'm definitely going to be revisiting this. Um, possibly as a, I don't know, as a live stream or this or that. Right now, I don't have the time to add a Let's Play of this. But it's super what I'm looking for. It's super duper what I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to doing, like, you know, really... Like, you know, sightings are easy. And in fact, this one's not even being used, really, in this particular thing. I should have, like, loaded up a, maybe a later game or something. Um, but, like, you know, really intricate more routing. I mean, there's not, there's not any complexity in the signals. There's no chain signals or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Maybe there will be later on. I have no idea. 
There you go, this one's waiting patiently. But, like, if you get a big station that you've invested tons in, then you're going to want, like, multiple platforms, and you're going to want fairly complex routing in and out of it. So we'll see. Okay, that should be enough to advance to the next age, which is full investments. Boom! So, we are now in the Steam Age 2. Next age will be the early diesel age. We get a reward here from building station extensions. Excellent. Deforestation is still a thing. So now if we look, there should be... Yep, there are more resources. Right over here. Foundry is in place. So this takes uh, c the coal, the iron ore apparently, and whatever the heck this symbol is. What is that? Oh, right over here. Oh no, it produces! Oh, I see, I misread. This is taking coal plus iron ore and producing, I'm assuming that's probably steel over here. It gives us a coal token and produces a steel that we would then deliver somewhere. Oh, wait, is mail a thing? <gasps> There's a post office. No kidding. Oh, log processing, select an option. Big problem. Both have a problem. Companies invested in considerable sums in logging technology. A company barely delivering half of what our sawmills can handle. We demand you increase delivery of logs by at least half the capacity of our mills. Whatever. Full capacity. 400 logs to a sawmill in one year. You can repeat this task until you achieve the requirement. Okay, so it's not a one-year time limit. It's just to, to win this, you have to do 400 logs in one go. And, ooh, that is a shiny locomotive. And we still have the quest to build a sixth locomotive. Look how much stuff there is. Let's take a quick look here at our... Where the hell is our base of operation? I'm lost. Okay, you don't have a post office. So there's posts and dairy. I don't suppose I can extension anything here. No, that's still not a thing. We might even have new extensions unlocked for, say, our station. Not that I can tell. So, what's the deal with the post? Yeah, I think it generates mail, and if you deliver mail, it makes money. So that would be... Whoa. Okay, that's just an exeter, so we just get twice as much mail produced there, probably. So that would be an interesting other thing to take a look. Uh, Middlesbrough, which I think just spawned on my track. Okay. I mean, we are going to wrap this up here, but I'm kind of curious to see. I haven't tried this yet. Can I convert... Oops. That's not entirely what I wanted to do. Smooth this out. Okay, we have to wait for the train to move. Or not. We might have to remove the track. Okay, pause. I think I'm using the bulldoze, actually. Here's fine. Smooth that out. Extend the station. And you do reach some stuff, but probably not enough. Yeah, see, I think right now it doesn't have... I don't know if there's a way to display the catchment. But if I do this, it'll catch the post. I don't think it was before. So now we're generating posts here in Middlesbrough. And we presumably deliver it somewhere or something like that. So obviously, we need to come up with some other system here for the rail. Because we've got the logging truck going up and down here. But now we're going to be doing probably both passenger and mail. Um, and I bet you we might combine it on the same train. I mean, the rate might not be the same. Probably not. Because I think, to me, this looks like five people per tick. Actually, I think, no, that's the delivery ratio. I don't know what the rates of production of these things will actually be represented by. Hmm. And then deliver it somewhere. Well, I mean, we could just send passengers down to here. Um, but the post and dairy, we'd probably want to use the existing track architecture. But again, this is not scalable, especially right here. So we'd actually probably want to bypass some of this. Oh, Manchester spawned over here too. We'd probably want to bypass all this with a proper sort of primary line that just cuts across here. Two lanes going back and forth and then things feed in and out, right? Instead of spaghetti up the other uh, rail, you want to build your primary line and then have things come off on and off with like T intersections, for example. Mm-hmm. But 
we're gonna wrap this up here again do definitely expect some more machin machinki in the future um a proper let's play in the future just the schedule is not gonna allow it right this second but uh hopefully soon thanks for watching folks and i'll see you guys next time